Last week on Wayne Anderson, Glory Days. Technical difficulties threatened the launch of Radio Classy. Where, where do you want this, Wayne? It's, it's a pirate station, so we can't really have it on, on the roof. Oh, OK, maybe just on the front step, perhaps, eh? Wayne, the police station's directly across the road. I don't oh, think Oh, right, sorry. Work. The team took to the streets of Manaroa to promote the station's manifesto. No heavy metal, no rap, no hip-hop, none of that satanic rubbish. And Wayne's dream was finally realised with the success of the Radio Classy signal test. Oh, I can hear you. I can hear you. Fantastic. I can hear We've you. Got a I can signal. hear you. Wayne, Radio Classy hear. is on air. And now, two days later, it's time for the official launch of Radio Classy. So today is the day I'm launching Radio Classy. I've been looking forward to it for about 35 years. I've been thinking about it and organising it for um, just on 30 years. And um, today is crunch day. So uh, even though you know we want to have, be nice and relaxed, we've still got to be professional. So they have to have their wits about them. They really have to be switched on because we have to get this right because we've basically got one shot at it. The launch of Radio Classy. Well, it's a very exciting day. Today's the day Radio Classy finally goes to air. And, uh, yeah, Wayne's just going to give us a briefing in my office, just run down through responsibilities and jobs. But as far as I can tell, everyone's been doing great, you know? So, yeah, we're all ready to go. OK. It's great to be here today. I'm glad to see that you've all made it. Orlando, great to see you here. Thank you. Um, it's pretty... Uh, Faye can't make it, actually, but unfortunately she's uh, damaged her toe. She had an operation on her toe today, so she can't be here right at the moment. So today is the day we're actually going to stop the moral and musical decline in Manurima. Here, here. Gentlemen, thank you all for coming on this auspicious occasion. Um, really, it's one small step for Mr. Wayne Anderson, one giant step for Manurewa. But without further ado, I would like to introduce Mr. Manurewa himself, the sexy singer of songs, Mr. Wayne Anderson. Thanks, Orlando. Yes, this is a great day, a great opportunity. I'm finally going to get the chance to educate New Zealand on what good music and good singers are actually about. So, without further ado, I'd like to launch Radio Classy by cutting the ribbon. Five, four, three, two, one. Orlando, put the on air light on. Done. Now, without any further ado, I would like to introduce the people that will be on the featured on the radio station. First of all, Christian, who will be in charge of sports, Raywin, who will be the roving reporter, and my new friend Keegan from Mangarewa High School. Now, the first song I'm going to sing on Radio Classy will be the song that put Tom Jones on the map, his signature tune, It's Not Unusual. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Oh, when I see you hanging about with anyone, it's not unusual to see me cry. I want to die. Now, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the philosophy of Radio Classy. 
the most important thing is we're going to promote great music, great singers with great voices. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, Wayne, um, we've got some problems <coughs> with our RT system over there. So you're going to have to shut this down, I'm afraid. What are oh, you talk to the person that's... Um... What are you doing here? What is this? Well, it's just, uh, it's just uh, it's a radio station. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Well, um, do you have a licence for the radio station at all? CJ, did you sort out that licence? I don't know, I just put up the radio station. You'll have to shut it down, I'm afraid. Cease and desist. OK. Maybe you could have a technician come and look at it later, but right now you're going to have to shut it down. OK? OK. Just, just, uh, take it in, so. And don't film it. Let's just, uh, you know, do what the person said. Well, let's take it off air. CJ, turn off that switch okay. now. So, basically, I try and start each day with a positive attitude. There's some of Neil Diamond's songs, very encouraging ones. Say, so start each day as you mean to go on. I generally succeed at that. But uh, what with the radio station debacle and everything, it's, uh, it just becomes pretty hard to put it out of your mind, really. Because um, I actually get to the stage now where I'm frightened to actually come out to my own letterbox for fear of knowing damn well what's going to be in there waiting for me. Bills, of course. A bill, a demand. A bill? What's this? Looks like another bill. From Japan. That's the last thing I need, a bill from Japan. Just no end to it, is there? Meanwhile, at the K Road car park, Orlando laments the untimely demise of Radio Classy. To be honest, it's one of the worst days of my life. And, uh... I can only imagine how, how Wayne feels, you know. He's been dreaming of this for, for 30 years and just taken away. And, you know, who would have thought that the police next door would be running the same, same signal as us? It's, it's amazing what can squash your dreams. So where do we go from here, you know? At this stage, to be honest, I have no idea. It just feels like it's over. Back in Manurewa, a more positive Wayne tends to some light housework. I got a phone call from Orlando. He was talking about uh, how disappointed he was with the uh, radio station being closed down. I know I care a lot about these things, but uh, um, I was quite surprised just how, how much to heart he actually took it. Um, which proves to me he is, in fact, a very good manager. Because he does actually care about... Um, whether or not the radio station goes ahead. With all the setbacks and the disappointments I've had in my life regarding the uh, singing career, uh, you know, a lesser band would probably, probably stop drilling half an inch before they strike oil. Uh, you see, unfortunately, in New Zealand, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I believe with uh, my enthusiasm and Orlando's expert uh, guidance, I reckon we'll be able to still achieve the goal that we originally set out to achieve. I don't think there's any problem there, so basically it's full steam ahead. With a gig tonight at a trendy inner city restaurant, the show must go on. Hi oh, Wayne, you ready for this burger fuel gig? Yeah, I've got to just change into my red shirt because that looks more sort of um, good, good call. Show, show busy. Yeah, definitely, it's got that show biz feel. Yeah. But are you saying letter from Japan? What's that all about? Well, yeah, I um, went out to the letterbox like I usually do, expecting to find all these bloody bills, and um, I started to read it, and it's a letter from Japan, all right, but um, they actually uh, are inviting me over there to actually sing in one of their restaurants. Unbelievable. Japan? Japan. It says 20,000. How, the, how have you got a fan club in Tokyo? Well, I was thinking about that, and I think it um, may be connected with that uh, Japanese man that uh, bought all the uh, Wayne Anderson 
merchandise. Sky City. At Sky City. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, actually. He was he was passionate. We never kind of really found out who he was. No. There's only one ticket, it says here, though. But I don't think you can go alone. I, I, I want to be there. Oh, you'll have to come, that's for sure, man. Yes. Double dynamite. My God almighty. We're going to have to put this on the back burner for now. And um, you're going to have to get ready for the gig. You know, we can't let your Ponsonby fans down. But uh, if they know that we're going to Japan, and that I need an extra ticket, maybe they'd sponsor us. Yeah. Not only have we got the gig in Ponsonby, but we've got the... A gig in, in Tokyo. Tokyo. Some good news at last. Come and give us a hug, man. Gee, we deserve it, don't we? Have you ever left the country, Wayne? Well, not really. I've been as far as Wellington. Today, Ponsonby. Tomorrow, Tokyo. Bolstered by the good news, Orlando has his hopes pinned on a sponsorship deal with the burger chain to help finance his ticket to Tokyo. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please. Uh, I have a special little treat for you tonight. Would you please give a warm and enthusiastic welcome, a New Zealand Music Month welcome, to Mr. Wayne Anderson. in there. I hope it goes uh, a little bit of the way to help you guys get to where you want to go. Okay, so listen, good luck. Thanks for everything tonight, Wayne. Pleasure as usual. Orlando, good luck. Take care of him over there, eh? Okay, guys. They all seem to love the voice, eh? Oh, man. And That's something I carry with me everywhere I go is the vocal ability, and it never fails to amaze them, eh? Next stop, Japan. Oh, just go to the secret drawer. Well, those guys at the burger joint just loved you tonight, Wayne, you know? They seem to. There's one thing I know how to do, and that's to sing. And I think I delivered the goods tonight. I haven't told you this yet, but Johnny actually gave us um, $500. $500? Bucks. I mean, look at this. This is the before, yep. you know, $30, 33 bucks right. in the band account. And now, with Johnny's contribution, $533. Gee, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Put it there. Awesome, man, you know? I'll just check the messages. Great to see you're taking care of that side of things, Orlando. Still great manager. Got a message, too. What do you know about pumpkins? Not a great deal. Run about as much as I know about Japan. Call from Christchurch. What's that all about? You're going to be the celebrity judge at a giant pumpkin festival. Yeah? How'd Morrison pulled out? Coming up after the break, Faye lays down the law. I know there's a lot of people out there who's actually recorded CDs and they're not even a singer of songs from TV. Mm. I mean, it just sounds so sickening. And Wayne prepares for a job as a celebrity judge in Christchurch, the South Island capital. Hopefully it's not too cold. No, no I don't really feel the cold because I'm slightly overweight. With the sojourn south approaching and the radio station debacle still hanging over them, a convalescing Faye decides it's time for Orlando to answer a few tough questions. Oh, thank you, Orlando. So, why are we actually still waiting to do a CD? I mean, Wayne's got no CD out there. We had to get a CD out there. I've had it advertised on my car window. 
And now we've had to block that off. You've already recorded a CD at Sky City, so why hasn't that been done? Well, when we recorded it, it was on tape. I know I there's mean... a lot of people out there who's actually recorded CDs and they're not even a singer of songs from TV. Mm. I mean, it just it, sounds so sickening. It's, it's not that easy, but, I mean, I guess... It is an area I've, I can honestly say, you know, my mind has been on the radio station, but, you know, maybe it is something we could do. I'll, I'll look at, do make some calls. Uh, is it going to be, like, a um, couple of months' time, six months' time, 12 months' time? We need to know something so we can tell the people of New Zealand out there. I'll report back to you as soon as I have the information at hand, OK, Faye? Thank you very much, Orlando. I'm very much appreciated. I'm just going out to my office now. OK. Now, what Faye doesn't realise is I've taken that recording all over town. You know, I've been laughed out of record companies. We, we recorded on tape. I think it's uh, just here, Wayne. Uh, it's just the record company. Yeah, hey guys, come on in. This is Puppy Killer Records HQ. What do you think your target market is with the cassette? Well, come to think of it, a lot of people still seem to have more cassette players in their car than actual CD players, to be honest. OK, so you're saying that the target market for your songs on this cassette are owners of cars from, say, mid 80s to late 80s that only have cassette players? A lot of the Japanese cars, you know, Nissans, Toyotas, Datsuns, things like that. Basically, we just stuffed up the recording of the Sky City show. And, you know, who is she to be, you know, tinkling her little bell and making me get her cups of tea, you know? I'm Wayne Anderson's manager, I'm not Faye Emery's manager. What do you know about the, uh, the South Island anyway, Wayne? You... Very little, actually. I've never actually been to the South Island, Orlando. The only thing that really sticks in my mind is that bloody rubbish that came out of Dunedin about 10 or 15 years ago, that... Um... So what, what did you call it again? The... Kind of flying nun sound. Flying nun sort of jangly sort of sound, you know. And I mean, my, the idea is, for me is to go down there and um, inject some bloody good stuff into it, you know. Hopefully it's not too cold. No, no I don't really feel the cold because I'm slightly overweight. Yes, you're once, twice, three times a lady. I love you, I love you, you. Beautiful. In the plane on the way down, Orlando, I was making some notes in the uh, diary that uh, Faye gave me um, about some management issues. Some of the things that uh, really need to be addressed is clearing some existing debts before we go to Japan. I really can't um, really think too much about uh, Japan or relax too much about it until really I get uh, these things cleared up, you know? Uh, point taken. Yeah. There was one or two other things too which I was going to uh, mention to you too. And it's just the fact that um, you really need to be uh, listening very carefully to the, the music that uh, you're managing me for, you know. You need to be listening carefully to Engelbert, Tom Jones, Tony Christie, uh, listening to them on a regular basis to further your knowledge or uh, increase your knowledge on how they sound. Even if you don't know what they sing, um, you should know, for example, the difference between Pat Boone and Perry Como. Yeah, just every opportunity you get, you know, instead of turning the radio on, just to put on a Perry Como greater hits or a Nat King Cole greater hits or a Johnny Mathis greater hits. Anything else on the management list that you'd like to talk about? Um, that's basically everything. Um, there was just one other thing that I was going to uh, talk to you about, which um, is quite personal, really, but it's, um, it needs to be mentioned. It's um, really about Faye. Um, as you know, um, she's been helping out quite a bit 
recently with yeah. the management sort of taking over your role a little bit. And um, I'm just thinking, um, because of that, uh, not only the fact that she's my partner, but also she's like an acting manager, um, possibility of us moving in together. In fact, um, when I go to Japan, um, I'll be living in Japan, she'll be living in my house, which basically makes it a um, preliminary test, if you like, to uh, for living together. So things are getting pretty serious between you and... Yeah, I, I guess so, yeah. It's just something I've been meaning to um, bring up before and I thought, well, uh, now's as good a time as any to mention it because it's another thing I made a note of in the plane on the way down. Well, I'm, you know, I'm glad that you've um, talked this through. I think it's important, you know, we have open communication and, yeah. Next week on Wayne Anderson, Glory Days, Wayne puts his pumpkin knowledge to the test. So I've basically got to get inside the mind of an eight-year-old. The boys hit a speed bump on the fundraising trail. This is my ticket. I've got $7.10 to get to Japan now. Well, you're the manager. You've got to do something about it. And will Faye save the day with her fundraising efforts? How well did we actually do, Faye? About $3. That's a parking ticket. She must have thought it was a cheque. It's actually oh, okay. a parking ticket instead. Oh, well, the eyesight. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.